Good morning class, my name is Sabra and today we're going to learn a little bit about the solar system. We are going to introduce the solar system with Jamie Cunningham talking about the planet. Okay, good morning, my name is Jamie Cunningham and I'm going to introduce the eight planets. We have nine on here, but Pluto is no longer recognized as a planet. Okay, we're going to start out with Mercury. And Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. And next we have Venus. And Venus is almost the exact same size as Earth. And it has many volcanoes. Uh, the surface of Venus is very dry. And it is the brightest planet in the solar system. And next we have Earth, which is the planet that we live on. And 71% of Earth's surface is covered with water. And it is the fifth largest planet. And next we have Mars, which is known as the red planet, and it's much smaller than Earth. Next we have Jupiter. It's the fifth planet from the sun, and it is the largest planet. Now we have Saturn, which is the second largest planet, and it's the sixth planet away from the sun. And now we have Uranus. It was the first planet discovered in modern times. And now we have Neptune, which is um, known for its bright blue color. And lastly, we have Pluto, which is known as the dwarf planet. It's the smallest planet, and it's basically no longer recognized. And now we will have Sabra Gilly, who is going to tell us a little bit about the sun. Okay, so let's start off with some facts about the sun. The sun is one of billions of stars. It's the closest star to Earth, as Jamie mentioned, and it rotates once every 27 days. The sun is now a middle-aged star, meaning it is about to set the middle of its life. The sun formed four and a half billion years ago. You may think that the sun will die soon, but it will keep shining at least another five billion years. Let's go to a song that I found about the sun. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. Yo ho, it's hot. The sun is not a place where we could live. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat, we need its energy. Without the sun, without a doubt, there'd be no you. My name is Keith Tardibona, and I'm here to talk to you about the moon. Some facts on the moon is the moon is not actually a planet, and it is over 14 million square miles. Only 59% of the moon's surface is visible from Earth. When a month has two full moons, the second full moon is called a blue moon. Another definition of a blue moon is the third full moon in any season containing four total full moons. From Earth, we always see the same side of the moon. The other side is always hidden. And now we have a little instructional video to help you learn about the moon. This is a little rap created by Mr. First quarter, wax and give this full moon. When you give this third quarter, when you press it, those are the phases of the moon. Those are the phases of the moon. Those are the phases of the moon. Those are the phases. Of the moon. Those are the phases. Uh, uh, uh. 
All right, and those are the phases of the moon. As you can see, we have the new moon, which starts the waxing crescent, and then it goes to first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, and then our new moon again. And that is all about our moon. Now we're going to have Percy come up and talk about you the see in the sky. Good morning, I'm Percy Laduna, and I'm going to teach you a quick and easy way to remember the planets um, by using a simple sentence. The simple sentence that we're going to use today is, my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Um, I'm showing nine planets, but, but as stated earlier in the presentation, um, it's only eight. Pluto is no longer recognized. So for the first um, word, these are, these are nine planets first. These are nine planets. Um, we're using the first letter in each word to identify the matching planet. Okay. My, we're going to associate my with Mercury. Very, we're going to associate that one with Venus. Easy goes with Earth, the planet in which we live. Method is going to go with Mars. Just is going to go with Jupiter. Speed is going to go with Saturn. Up is going to go with Uranus. Naming is going to go with Neptune. Planets is going to go with Pluto. And again, remember, Pluto is no longer a planet that's recognized, but it once was recognized as a planet. Um, and again, a simple sentence is my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. So we got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. This concludes our presentation. Thanks so much for watching our smart, smart board instructional video about our solar system. And remember, always respect your planet.